Good morning YouTube. Today is Thursday 19th of October 2017. I've been video vlogging my journey. I'm going to try and do this without falling over. Can you see the really skinny path that I'm walking on? It's quite a deep um, crevice I guess so when you walk and it's a bit slippery. I'm kind of all over the place like that. So I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass, as you all know. Bada yada 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 yada. I'm super happy this morning, it is weigh-in day. And I can't tell you my stats because I don't know them exactly. What I do know is, well I do a bit. In December 2016, seven, nine months ago, I weighed 120 kg. This morning I got on the scales and I'm 84 kg. Thank you bypass, thank you bariatric surgery, thank you for the tool that motivates me to get out of bed and work out, that motivates me to get out of bed and walk or to do anything, that motivates me to make good choices with my food, better choices I should say. I don't live like a complete saint, I really enjoy my life but this gastric bypass tool has been I, I always do that as if you know it's in there well it is in there isn't it it's under my boob really not above my boob but might as well be um so as you can see i'm taking you on my walk so yes i've lost five in total five stone nine something pounds and if i'm being really honest when you start to lose weight i i, I i'm very honest i didn't set a goal um, and I've explained all of that before. I think it's a fear of failure. I'm not reaching that goal. So I didn't set a goal and then you just kind of go with the flow. And when you start to lose weight, you're like, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And then suddenly it got to three stone, four stone, five stone. I'm like, I've lost five stone. And now I've just this morning realized I'm knocking on six stones door what the absolute fuck because i don't have that goal in mind this is all such a beautiful journey i'm just kind of going i never thought i'd get to three four stone and now i'm looking at six stone loss i'm past seven months and yeah the journey's not an easy journey but it is what you make it i think it is in life isn't it sorry about the wobbly you're on my um selfie stick and I'm trying to hold it really straight but obviously it's hard when you're walking um, and you know yesterday guys thanks for the messages on my YouTube yesterday um, I, don't, I just had a little bit of self-doubt about YouTubing but I spoke to my husband this morning about it and he's like what are you on about Jan you know you've got X amount of followers thank you guys and people do enjoy your updates or they wouldn't be watching so Thank you for the ones that messaged me and I know I've got the most amazing support with a few people on this weight loss community and I mean that by we have daily conversations and you know who you are um, and this kind of ongoing support yeah, it blows you away a little bit guys you know I know I'm there to celebrate everybody's losses and cheer everybody else on but I also cheer myself on and I try and be as positive as possible. And you know, this journey for me so far has been a really, really good one. And that's helped by you guys. The messages, the, you know, people asking for my advice on stuff. And I try and be completely down the line and upfront and real. And that's all I can be really. So I'm not gonna stop YouTubing. And if I talk shit and it bores you, just say, jog on Jan, jog on, well I will. When I'm not videoing, I might do a bit of a jog. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I think I'm a bit hormonal, hence the self-doubt yesterday. Um, I said to Claire and Dawn, after posting my YouTube video, I went shopping and uh, a guy in front of me in the queue. Smell doesn't really cover it, you know. Some people have really got no idea about personal hygiene. And now normally, throughout the month I could probably take a step back literally a step back away from him so that I didn't have to smell him and I could block it out and just think well everyone to their own yesterday 
I was literally biting my tongue not to say go and have a fucking bath why why do you smell like that you know he was just grubby and that's not me normally so I kind of come back going I think I must be hormonal because my my whole attitude changes and I'm short-tempered and you know yeah I felt a bit pants yesterday I don't know whether you can hear me we're just going past it I'll just wait until I'm past the noisy bit before I carry on I don't know about you guys but I actually really love a winter walk I do I, I, I'm actually looking forward to the frosty mornings getting my gloves scarf and hat on and yeah it really does do it for me and I love this canal in the morning I mean I'm gonna walk in a minute I'm gonna walk for about half an hour this way which is the opposite way to what I normally do as you can see the background slightly different there's a quarry on my left here and I'm going to walk through a very industrial area to cross a road and then I'm going to walk up into Midgham which is a small village in well, that's where I live actually and then I'll come back down the road but it'll be a good walk my, I was meant to be meeting my friend and we got our wires crossed with timings and stuff and it would be so easy to say well because I've already been to the gym this morning not to go on a walk but in my head I'd planned it so I actually didn't do as long on the treadmill because I knew I was coming for a walk. So my motivation says, well, just because your friend isn't going for a walk, get your boots on and go. And I do have massive fashion fail. When you walk in, who cares? I have thick socks on and when it's wet like this, I need to put on my walking boots so that I don't get wet toes because I can't stand that. And as you can see, no glasses. I have a real issue with rain on my glasses, especially when I'm hormonal. <laughs> So yes, I think that just trying to explain yesterday's mood a bit in feeling that maybe I wasn't contributing towards the um, community with weight loss and I talk about a lot of other shit, but you know, guys, I think hopefully, like I said to you before, you know, I'm pretty honest and, and real and you guys should be with me too. And if you feel like I'm waffling about stuff that isn't interesting, tell me. If you want me to talk about something completely unrelated tell me because I'm not against that either I love having communication with you all and yeah Instagram seems to be a more instant kind of gratification and I definitely am holding myself accountable to my exercise regime on there and the feedback is great you know and if and I'm inspired by other people you know getting up and doing their exercise or going to their classes more so I think credit to all of you guys that have got full-time jobs and especially Dawn I know she can work an eight nine hour day and then go to the gym after how do you do that how do you do that because by three or four o'clock in the afternoon I'm knackered knackered I'm done in and I'm an uh, I'm a morning person I think I've always been a morning person as you can see there's the quarry over there look that's what the noise is so as much as it's beautiful there is a lot of work going on on the sides of the canal so yeah I never used to be a morning person I used to be up till 12 1 o'clock at night my husband would always go to bed earlier than me um, and I think since weight loss surgery I started to go to bed earlier with him which meant I woke up with him I think we're awake about 5 45 every morning he brings a coffee up to bed and then I'm at the gym by half past six, seven o'clock. So that kind of routine, you just roll with it. And then I'm in bed by 10 and I'm knackered because I've been up that bit earlier and I've worked hard. And so yeah, I'm definitely enjoying going to bed earlier and getting up earlier. I've decided I'm 100% a morning person. And even to get out now and get my 10,000 steps before I get home will be quite a good achievement for me. And I feel like, yes, I've done it. Anyway guys, I'm back to positive me again today. I'm not doubting my YouTube journey because this is about me being able to look back and see how far I've come and what I've done. And I've lost over two pound in this week. Considering I'm over seven months out, I'm pretty, pretty chuffed with that. And I'm really happy with the support that I've got. And I hope that I support people in the same manner. If not, kick me up the arse guys. <laughs> Thank you for your messages and ongoing support. If you haven't already, please click like and subscribe and I will chat to you again tomorrow.
Mwah. Have a lovely day.